Hi, I'm Wendy, and this is Wendy Drinks Gin. Cheers! Hi, welcome to Wendy Drinks Gin. Today, I'm gonna to make my drink right here and right now. My selection is silent pool. So, we'll start with the glass and the silent pool. The measuring utensil. This is what Matthew says to do, so do that. Don't overfill it and then just top it up. This is the um, bottle, silent pool. I want to demonstrate what Luke does. With every gin that he sells, whether he smelled it a thousand times before, he smells it. He may have just served it. He's going to smell it again. And Matthew, by the way, is the owner of the Thatched Cottage um, and the gin connoisseur, he and David. Um, David is partner in the business. And Luke, I've talked about many times, Luke is our gin master. Um, young fellow, but he knows a lot about gins. I will say he taught me everything I don't know about gins. Um, so silent food. Let's see how it's garnished. It is served with Indian, so seventeen twenty-four. Let's go ahead and crack that one open. And then some garnish. I have orange for garnish. All right. So there we are. Silent pool. Garnished with orange. Sometimes we'll throw some juniper berries in there as well, but we're going to skip those today. Let me tell you about silent pool. Including kaffir lime, chamomile, local honey, and lavender, resulting in a subtly sweet, though intricately balanced tipple. I don't know what pepper lime is, and I certainly don't know what balanced tipple is, but I'm sure they're all perfectly fine. Let's give this gin a little taste. See if I can taste that pepper lime. This is a harsh gin. I don't taste anything but gin. So we'll add some tonic. I'm really sad now that I've Got the 1724, which is what they, they recommend Indian with this, but on really harsh tonics, I would prefer a flavored, I mean, really harsh gins, I would prefer a flavored tonic. So, let's see how this goes. It has a really sharp bite. Okay, I, I didn't taste the florals in there. I certainly don't taste um, lavender. I didn't taste the subtly sweet. All I tasted was harsh and um, kind of, it grabbed me at the beginning and held me all the way through on my sip. It has mellowed out a bit with the, with the tonic, but now I just taste the bitter edge of the tonic at the end. I think this is probably a, a nice refreshing gin, and if you like strict gin and tonic, this will probably be a great one for you. I don't taste the floral, and I don't taste the subtly sweet, so I think you'll be fine. If you don't like those kind of things, it's going to be, be nice, and you're going to get that bite maybe that you, you like. For me, I would not have this one again, but that's me. I mean, we all have different tastes. and. What I think is you should try it and let me know what you think. Maybe you'll love it. Anyway, this is Wendy, and today I'm drinking gin. Cheers. <laughs>